so for thank you all for joining in and uh, today is our episode number 36 and this is free intune training provided by how to manage devices community and uh, in the last week we have been uh, checking out and we we've been looking into the policies of firefox and chrome browser right so we are kind of quickly moving away from the Chrome, um, Chrome and Firefox browsers now, and uh, we will see something new today, right? So before that, uh, yes, uh, on Friday, I think we have deployed the auto update disable policy on Firefox, right? So if you edit this one, probably you would be able to see that, okay? So, which is the one, let me, let me check. So this is the ADMX policy, ADMX injection policy, which we deployed uh, to Firefox. And uh, I think this is the one for setting up the home page. And the third one, which we deployed is for the auto update, right? App auto update disabled, right? So let's let's check what is the status as per the, as per the status in intune it got deployed successfully on the device client client device if i go to device configuration and if i see firefox somewhere here where is it still okay <laughs> uh so this is this is these are the policies and all these three policies got deployed successfully applied successfully on the device right as per the report let's go to let's go to the azure ad joined device and check um, is there any policy came down in on the, this particular mission right so let's check auto update right i think that was the one which you deployed right auto update app op auto update right so this is another one right where is the exact policy which which we are checking okay so that was the one so this is this is what the actual policy and uh, this is when it got applied and um, this was on f i think uh, 5th of june so today is 8th of june right so this got applied and if i go to the registry and if i go to firefox over here right so you would be able to see app auto update as kind of disabled right so so that's that's good thing right and right now I, what i wanted to show you is all these devices are having edge edge version legacy edge version right this is not the chromium version of the edge this is the legacy version of the edge right so if i go to i don't know help you can see somewhere here right what is what is new or something so you will see like okay introducing new edge that is chromium version and this is the legacy one right so uh, let's let me check whether we have edge over here or not no, this is this is this is which version of edge okay this is this is not the chromium version i assume right so what i'm going to do now is basically i'm going to deploy the chromium version of edge onto this devices right and and let's see how how it goes right so basically before before going into that okay so let me show you one thing over here right so when i when i try to deploy the policy on the azure ad registered device right and i was checking the registry entry and it all got applied at the firefox auto app auto update but it is not getting reflected on the browser settings right and it is not getting available in the policies also right 
so i need to look into it and we will come back to it later and find out what is the reason for that right but in the registry you can see it got applied but actually the update is not disabled yet right so that was kind of a disclaimer which i wanted to give uh, okay so let's okay let's go back to the intune portal and now try to we are trying to deploy the microsoft edge right so i am going to apps i'm going to apps and uh, filtering it with windows right and adding a new application and over here you have an option for specifically for edge right you can see microsoft edge version 77 or later basically that is the chromium version of edge right so i'm going to use this the default template available in in intune right out of box template available we don't need to upload some exe or msi file for this this is automatically available in the in the portal itself intune portal itself right so i'm going to click next and all these things are automatically populated we don't need to do anything right all all the details description product category everything is kind of automatically selected automatically filled because that is that is by default out of box available in intune portal right so we are trying to deploy microsoft edge chromium for windows 10 right click next and even even the logo is available and uh, over here you know like there are different channels of edge available in the production deployment i always use the stable channel right St and stable channel normally get updated every 6 weeks right as per the microsoft documentation stable channel gets updated every 6 weeks right so you need to have that update mechanism also available if uh, the i think for windows update for business devices that should be fine but for for the ssem and configuration manager managed devices probably you need to have those patching uh, mechanisms also available for this uh, if you are planning to disable the update all right okay and operating system uh, language you can select lot of language option you have lot of language options over here right most of the language options are available here right so i'm going to go with the default one right and if you if you have a language preference or language selection you can select that right uh, when when microsoft started de deploying uh, edge at that time all these options were not available in intune right so my intune got updated now and all these versions are available all these details are available selection options are available in intune right so click next and this is the same same page um of for the assignment right so you you can see that there is a difference between uh, some templates of um, policies and apps right apps it's a bit different you will get an option to um, available make it available Uh, required available and uninstall right in policies you won't get the available option i feel right so that is a different one of the difference right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to stmd and i'm going to select the windows devices right and it is it is kind of a required application deployment right you can you can include more details if you want over here include or exclude kind of stuff like that right and you can delete it from here if you want right so these are the options available in terms of assignment right now the other thing missing is over here is scope options right i don't see a scope option over here okay so probably that is something missing or i don't know whether i i didn't notice that or not let me go back and see whether we have a scope option here all right scope option i can't see uh, for this type of application deployment right this is kind of out of box application deployment now let's see let's go back to 
to the device and check whether that application deployment is coming down or not, right? So this is native um, MDM based application deployment. Okay. So I'm expecting that it should get deployed to Azure AD joint and Azure AD registered devices, right? If it's if it's Win32 application deployment, if you are not sure what is Win32 application deployment, probably it's better to go back and watch our previous videos, right? So sync completed uh, for Win32 application deployment. Uh, we, we cannot deploy applications to Azure AD registered devices. Right, it is only available for Azure AD joint devices. So this device is Azure AD registered device, and we are logging in with the local username and password. Right. So Edge application deployment probably I am I'm hoping like that is available for both. Right, Azure AD registered and uh, registered and joined devices. Right. So. This is fine, I think. Let me let me go ahead and do some cleanup also, right? While we are here, right? So we have deployed a lot of policies, Chrome policies, and that is creating kind of issues in the event logs, right? Chrome policies, the some some old policies which we can we can kind of remove, right? So one of them is STM. Let me search with Chrome. OK, so. This is failed, so I'm going to delete this policy, right? Oh, other one is this is also error, right? I'm going to delete this policy also. So this is fine. Ideally, when you delete the policy, right? When you delete the policy, it's better to remove the remove the assignment and then delete it. Okay, uh, but I'm going to keep these two policies now for now, and let's go back to the device as you ready registered device and check what is happening over there, right? Okay, so something is happening. MSI installation download install so MSI installation is happening I think all right so something came down over here and you can see like um, okay so let's go back and see what is the what is this registry entry registry reg edit First of all, let's see what is what is available in this start. Right, it's still not there. So this is enterprise MSFT enterprise. Okay, give me a sec. This is deployed to user, right? See, you can see a CPS, uh, CSP over here. Until now, we deployed devices, devices scope, right? We have deployed the devices scope. Now this one is uh, user scope, right? So I don't know. Let me check whether this is happening. Vendor, vendor is not there. Software, no software. Policy manager. Probably I won't be able to find this. Let me do one thing, right? So let me check this one in the registry, right? And probably that is the enrollment ID, which is, is it is kind of used, right? 
so okay i'm still checking the local user sorry current user software microsoft i don't know policy no it's not there okay anyways let me check that over here find All right let it come back and uh, let's close close this legacy thing from i'm oh, sorry edge and check what is happening at the device side let me minimize this let me go down and see what is there in the registry uh this is chrome uh, so that should go away now let me give a refresh and check whether anything related to edge came in or not no i don't think so okay so let's go back and check what is happening over here the company portal the required applications might not feature right only the available application is there in the company portal right so let's go back and uh, and check check the console or portal where what is happening with the edge deployment edge okay nothing is there yet no devices that's interesting so we did something wrong still loading ah oh, that's interesting hopefully everything within tune is fine today Ah, <laughs> five minutes before Chrome disabled. Chrome disabled. Edge successfully created. Right. Okay. Now it's pretty slow today. I think it is coming up now and says okay. Windows devices. Let me confirm that HDMD Windows devices. HD HDMD Windows devices. These are the Windows devices. and members right okay these are the devices five is there and let me go back and check the device status no no devices that's interesting let me refresh the policies on this also right and see what is happening hopefully in tune is fine <laughs> uh let me go back here and give one more refresh okay now let's go back and see dashboard everything is okay from here i think tenant administration and it's still the previous version i don't know why It it didn't update it to the latest version, right? Um, active, it says active, so I have not ex like it is not expired or something, right? It says healthy, so I think Intune is fine. <laughs> We don't have any issue with Intune, I hope. So let's check Edge again, and okay, it's not. not happening right so okay so we will wait for some time and see what is happening over there right and in the event logs let's check event log again after refreshing um 17 18 okay that is latest one now check whether there is any edge related stuff over here no no nothing there so it's still coming down probably let's check let's check this one right this is 
This is the other mission, right? No, this is the same one. Okay, this is as a ready registered one. And let's see what is happening over here. A refresh. And uh, there's something, some updates over here. Let's check edge. No, I don't think so. And in the registry, this is MSI Enterprise App Management. We got this registry, but it's uh, I don't think it's useful. <laughs> There's much, not much information over here. Okay. So we will we will wait and see. Sometimes, yeah, that is the that is the best way. We need to kind of wait and see like what is going to happen because I think nothing is getting refreshed over here. Even even the uh, the list device install list is not happening. All right. So probably this is user based um, deployment. Probably we might need to deploy it to the users. I don't know. I don't think so. But anyways, because. I have seen some registry entries with user CSP, right? That is why I'm saying um, not registry entry, the event log entry with the CSP, right? User CSP. So, so let's see. Let's wait and see um, what is going to happen with this. Probably tomorrow. Any any questions? Any questions for today? Are you guys still able to hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, sir. cool, <laughs> cool. So I thought like I lost you all. Okay. Anyways, so if you have, we have another seven minutes, right? What we are going to do is, I'm going to deploy Office also, right? So how to deploy Office? I'm going to show you now today and probably tomorrow we will see like, okay, what, what happened to that office deployment, right? So I'm going to do the same thing, um, apps, Windows apps and adding a new application from add button and office also available as default out of box, right? Over here in Intune console. So you don't need to upload anything, right? It's automatically available and all these are populated automatically. Uh, <clears throat> the information URL, privacy URL, everything is populated. So this is this is easy for the deployment, right? If you want to add some notes, you can add. Uh, even the logo is populated. Now you can say like which one we want to select. Like you have a XML package data, then you can provide that. Otherwise, you can use the configuration designer to select the select the properties and uh, the details of office deployment which you want to do so what this configuration designer will do it will create an xml right it will create an xml and that will help us to configure the office as per our requirement right so so here is uh, here are the options to deploy um, deploy office and you can select which are the applications you want Right, and you want to if you don't want Skype for business, probably you can you can remove the that check mark, right? So the Skype for business won't get applied, right? Or won't get deployed, right? So on onto the device, right? I'm going to say I don't want access, I don't want one note, one note that is fine, I think. And I don't want publisher. I'm I'm okay with other stuff. I think think one drive for desktop okay that's that's fine i think i'm fine with all these seven applications and license i don't want visual or project so i'm fine with that i'm going to deploy 64 bit and i'm going to select semi annual that is the best way uh, best one for the production right if you if you want to do some pilot then probably you need to select the monthly one then monthly one uh, will out of uh, will go out of out of support very soon so if you are selecting monthly one you need to make sure that it is getting the updates regularly right otherwise it will go out of support right okay 
so you can remove you can say like uh, that you can remove the previous versions of oil, um, office right and which version you want to install uh, which is the latest version and uh, you will get all the all the version details over here right so um, the least supported version is 1902 this particular version right so i'm going to go with the latest one on this scenario but if you have some requirement for your organization probably it's better to get the the specific version right so any compatibility issues or something like that right so shared computer activation i i'm not going to use in shared computers accept the license uh, on, on behalf of users, I'm going to say uh, stay with the default one, default options, right? And um, you can select the language over here. This is pretty good option, right? So you can select the language, and uh, it is it is very user friendly option rather than you know, directly going through the uh, configuration um, that. Uh, the SCM kind of experience, right? SCM kind of experience is a bit uh, rough sometimes, right? So we have some blog posts available to show that how that experience goes uh, within uh, configuration manager along along with configuration designer. So I have selected the details over here, right? And if you want to select multiple languages, I think we can do that, right? But I'm go not going to do that. But you need to remember all these packages, right? Will be accumulated in SSCM world. It will accumulate. It will get accumulated, and it will be like uh, I don't know two gigabytes or something like that. Probably in in tune, that might not. Um, that that is not very concerning part probably uh, delivery optimization can help you with that okay so i'm going to assign assign this to the same all all windows devices so and let's let's understand whether it is getting deployed to azure ad registered and um, Azure AD joined devices or not. So I'm going to use the same group which we use for the edge, right? And I'm going to say next. So this is this is pretty easy kind of method to deploy Office, right? And you can see like what are the configurations we have selected, right? And you want to change, you can change it now also after, during the review process, right? And just click create and we will wait for the installation to happen right so this is this is pretty for, uh, straightforward right so uh, like 5 minutes work if you have some configuration confusions like uh, what we need to select over here it's always better to select the semi annual for the production mass deployment right and uh, languages you need to be very careful with the languages right for if you are creating a particular language probably you need to deploy that that language to that particular set of devices right probably right okay or users right if you are uh, german users if you have german users then probably you need to deploy it to german language to german users right okay so it depends on your organization preferences and best practices right you need to select uh, what what are the configurations required and if you already have a xml file which is created by your packaging team you can use that also right during this wizard okay so that's cool option so let's see what is going to happen with this also and with edge also right and we will see that what is going to happen with these two, right? Probably we might need to change some deployments or some, we did something wrong. I will check that and um, you will see what is what happened and what is happening tomorrow on this part, okay? Okay, so any, any questions? Okay, if you don't have any questions, thank you all for joining in and uh, see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, thank you, sir.